So my document. Mm. Uh, so I welcome you to this workshop Moodle. Uh, I work with Moodle already six years as an administrator and as a teacher trainer. Uh, usually I perform workshop in the computer room. So ten person, ten uh, teacher come and I implement it into in the in the computer room. Today I will do it first time over the Adobe. So this will be interesting experiment. And I hope we all learn uh, something till the end. I have three topics, but I already talked with Anita that uh, it will be hard to get to go to all three in one hour. So I will just suggest we will do it just first two. If we will, if we will be fast, we can go to the third topic too. But I have doubts about that. Uh, in each topic, I will first explain you give you example, and then I will ask you to go into the Moodle as a student. Uh, why that? When I have workshops uh, and explain how assi assignment works, teacher always ask me, how uh, see students these assignments? They see the same way as I do. So then we always have to go into the side of students uh, uh, in a, a site so they can see. So today you will see both sides. You will see side of the teacher because I will be as a teacher and I will share screen with you, and you will go in Moodle as a student, so you feel uh, like a student. This you get this feeling also, and you can you can uh, prove uh, check how assignments look or quiz. After uh, this, uh, you will uh, do assignment as a student. Um, I will ask you to prepare next time one example of assignment assignment and then we will talk about it usually so that a teacher have idea how assignment should look like how should be uh, with be, will be prepared and they don't know to do it in Moodle in this case uh, they show me uh, they tell me and then then I try to show them how you can do it inside the Moodle so next webinar will be more practical I will help you how to do some things in Moodle the way you like to do it so now, now I will be go to the my uh, Moodle as a teacher. So you see, I can look, see who is inside. Uh, this uh, list of participants always reminds me on the primary school when you come in the classroom and you ask who is missing. The same thing is happening now to me. Who is missing? Now I see there are just uh, just two person are not inside the Moodle. That's quite well. So I will start to explain you. First, I go into the uh, site of my uh, course. OK, here we are. If I want to insert something or change something, I have to be in edit mode. Edit mode means that all activities and uh, sources have these editing icons. If I turn editing off, you can see how it looks this uh, subject to your students. And you have additional possibility to see how it looks from student side if you switch role to student. Now I will switch on editing mode. Moodle activity assignments are very popular between our teachers. There are many reasons. First, we check out what are these reasons. First things, you can send your study task, homework, or anything inside these subjects, inside the system. And everything is a height. Content of task, the deadline, uh, what you send to the student, what they send you back, and when they did it what was the responses, and what grade student received from this task. This is everything is inside the subject, and you can check it today, next month, next year. And data can be exported to the, from the Moodle to your PC. Uh, we have just one uh, activity assignment, but I prepare you four kinds, because Inside, you have possibility to make different structures of this assignment. So I will just check, so show you how you make new assignment in general. 
but then I go into those already prepared and I will show you how I uh, put these special uh, settings. So when you are making new assignment, you have to go to this activity menu and pick up assignment. The first page is open. You insert name, description, this, this, uh, this text uh, student seed. Here is description of the assignment. And there is a lot of second settings till the end. When you finish everything, you just save, click on the button, save and return to your course. I already prepared some example so that we will go a little more clear. So this example I already prepared. If I want to change something, I have to click on icon update. When I click on this icon, uh, the first page is open the similar as the, in this case when we start a new activity. So first assignment is online assignment. This is assignment where we send students um, like, how, how can I say, editing window. So he insert into the editing window the content and send you back. Let's see how it's prepared. First is title, then is description. This is description to the student what he needs to do. You can use uh, pictures or movies or equation. All these uh, tools are, all these icons are, uh, you can use it. When you finish with description, the important part are submission dates. I put that these uh, assignments will be open today at 10 o'clock and it will be closed at 11 o'clock today. If I don't have sign, uh, clicked all this uh, field, that means that this assignment students can work with it anytime and they can set anytime. Usually we like to have beginning and ending. If I let this uh, field uh, unsigned, that means that students can send assignment uh, even after the, uh, this date. But system will put notice, you are too late and with your assignment and the notice will see also a teacher. If you don't like this, you can click on this field and say, OK, no free playing just you have to re return assignment till 11 o'clock after this o'clock student will not have any possibility to send their assignment uh, practically advice it is so that students if the students have to send assignments at 11 o'clock they start to send send it two minutes before 11 o'clock and then they say, oh, internet was falling down, electricity was falling down, I don't know what, cats uh, bring my mouse away. So if you don't want to have such uh, cases, it's better if you let them, OK, send it two minutes after 11 o'clock and then solve the problem with him. Um, there we have possibility to insert submit button. Uh, if I have there is, that there is no submit button, then students have time to insert, to delete, to change uh, his assignment between those dates, anytime. Uh, if I put submit button, then when students insert file and then he click on this button, everything goes to the teacher and the, he has no possibility to send nothing more or change nothing more. In our case, I will uh, use this submit button. You will see it. This is some uh, uh, about notifying about late submission. Moodle allows uh, you to make groups. Groups uh, uh, get one assignment. Moodle gives you possibility to make a blind marking so you don't see the person when you are grading. And here, these two fields are important for make structures of the assignment. I say I will prepare online text. OK, now that's why I click here yes. I will say no file submission. And I will not allow students to insert comment. But I will allow teacher to make feedback. 
and I am not expecting from uh, to send files back to the student. This is settings for this kind of assignment. Then I go further, grades. Moodle have those numerical grades. In primary school, they will pick up from 1 to 5. Uh, perhaps you like to have from 1 to 7. Uh, a lot of teachers use 1 to 100 because they are working with, uh, with percents. I will use simple grading. Moodle have some advanced methods. You can go check it on the site. Um, I will not use uh, categories in, at the moment in the gradebook, and I will not use groups. I can send each assignment. I can decide if I can send it to the group. So I can say I will say it to group, and I have group called Bled. There you are inside, and I will send just to you. But in this case, I will put it open. No groups. So I will save and return to course. So I will hide next three assignments to you. And now I will ask you, if you go into your Moodle and send me this assignment back, you can just write uh, one sentence in your, uh, in your language. And I will look how it's going. When you click on button Submit Assignment, the online text window is open and you can use anything is inside. And you will see that you can save changes. Okay? And then is also Submit Assignment button. As long as you don't click it, you can change your submission. But when you click on this button Submit Assignment, then it's everything go to me. There is some uh, notes that you have to say that this is your own work. You have to click the field and then click continue. And here it is, online text. I will check if you send me something. I got one submission which I need to grade. I will wait a little bit for you. You can go in their side so they will see their problems. You fall out? You are inside? Yes, good. Is there any problems with sending? Oh, I have now three submitted and I need three grades. OK, I will take those three and show you how can I open and how can I grade it. <laughs> Anita, <so. laughs> thank you, Anita. So I go. If I want to see uh, this my uh, exams, first things, let's go back and subject. First things, I have to click on assignment. It's a peer site with all data. Now I see that four person sent me. And then I click on the link view, grade all submission. It's OK. So you grade all submission. Now it's open site with my participant. You see here is a message that Eva sent me, and I have to grade it. I can grade it, it manually here in this field, or go into the field for grading. I will click on it, click field, and see what she's sent me. I said that this is really splendid work. <laughs> and I insert my feedback. 
after I did it, I save a change. So you see, uh, she sent me, I give a note, and I send her message that it's fine. Let's go to see to Alexander, to see what he write me. Yes, I'm glad. OK, you send the note. I hope this workshop So you have set feedback and save the changes. So you see my comments and my notes. Let's see Helena Elena. <laughs> so I see where you come from. So let oh thousand is too much. So now I will start with um, giving a note because I don't will really have too many times. Thank you for, for submitting. I will insert notes uh, later and comments to you. So you see how students see such a kind of assignment. Now I will go further. If I don't want uh, uh, you to see students to see what I'm doing, which assignment I can close this eyes. So you don't see those three. Now I open the second one. Second one is assignment which uh, you use in case that students uh, have nothing to send you over the internet. Perhaps he have to come to you and bring with him uh, the results of assignment or have to present in front of you. So this is assignments where I don't expect from students to send anything over the Moodle. Uh, some teachers use it for colloquium. They write some partial uh, written exams and they insert then later manually grades inside it. How can I do it? Let's open it. Such a kind of assignment, it's just, I just in, uh, give this description what is going on. The same way I open and close. But you see, I put other, I don't need a button for submit because students will not submit me nothing. And when we go to the settings, I said no online, no file, no comments, no feedback, only for me, yes, and no feedback bias, bias, uh, files. This is kind of assignments where uh, I don't expect to get something from students over internet. I put again grade and save it. In this kind of assignments, I have to go insert inside and I have to add grades manually into your in the grade book. Let's go to the third one. The third one I will now open it. If you don't see that I open it, you have to refresh a uh, site. This is uh, internet uh, specific. So this kind of assignment is, uh, I say, it bas uh, basic mode. You give assignment to the students, and students send you in in form of file back, and assignment its end. So no communication back from teacher to student. Let's see it. This kind is basic mode. So in this assignment, I will ask you just send me one document, any type. It can be picture or something like that. Just send me. I put I'll open and close date. In this kind uh, way of assignment, I prefer to give you submit button. Here we come to the structure place. This will be not online, but this will be file submission, yes. I will allow you to give me three files. Uh, this is your decision as a teacher. And be careful, make limitations. So that will, will not come to big files to you. I will put it, OK, 5 mega. I will not give you possibility as a student to, make, to send me comments. 
but I will insert comments and I will send nothing back to you. I decide for grade 100% and I will return to courses. And now again I will ask you if you go to this third assignment and send me one file. Very simple, short, no matter what you send me. Uh -huh. Perhaps uh, uh, somebody have problem with sending a file. You have in file submission in left corner, you have uh, icon add. So you have to click on add and then you have uh, attachment It's uh, in the middle and you browse and look for the file, select it and then at the end just upload the file. And you will see it in the field of files. When you give it all, you can click on, file, uh, on the button Save Change. But as long as you not click on Submit Assignment, you can go and change it. But when you click on Submit button, then you cannot change nothing. Everything is go to the teacher. So Eva is working near me, so I'm always looking on the right side. So Eva sent me. Um, I wait a little bit. Teacher C, when he click on the name on the link of the assignment, I am perhaps too fast. Is any response? It's going. It's going quite well. So I click again on the name of the assignment, came into the site when I saw description, I see that four person already submitted assignment. I see it when I click on the view, grade or submission. This is the one. You see, I see Eva sent me something for uh, grading. He did it on Friday at 10 o'clock 22 minutes and here is her file. I click on it and I open it. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. So you see all files inside here, file submission. You can check it and when you uh, no, uh, make a grade, you go here inside the grades. You can do it manually. I can say, oh, this was fine and make a call. I see that she don't send me any comments. She, there was place for comments, but she has nothing to say me. Oh, okay. And see, I didn't give her feedback. I can give feedback also here. So this is the way. So um, I will end with uh, save all. Okay, and continue. Uh, now I go back to the workshop. This was three kind of assignments. And now I will open the fourth. Okay, I didn't open it. I go back. I just want to make it that you see it. Okay, and now I will open to editing. This assignment, advanced mode, a teacher usually use for some project work. So they give uh, instruction to students what he needs to do. <laughs> no, <laughs> I didn't give a grade because I don't have time now, sorry. But I will do it after this uh, session. You all get the grades because I need them for the, uh, to show you how grades book uh, looks like. <laughs> Elena always want to have everything fast. So, uh, as a teacher, I prepare. <laughs> as a teacher, I prepare assignment as a project work. For example, uh, students make some draft, and uh, students send me this draft back. As a teacher, I go through, I insert comments, and then send file back to him. 
And so this kind of assignment is traveling communication between me and students. Until students uh, did it as it need to be or uh, when uh, this uh, date go, come, we come to the end date. So to, to have such a kind of assignments when students and teacher exchange documents, I will go, I will don't put submissions because there will be a lot of uh, submission uh, which are not final. I will go here in these two fields where is submission settings. First thing, this will be no online text, but this will be file submission. I decided that's one file, students can send me one file, uh, 5 mega, and I give him possibility to add some comments in connection with this file. Then I can possibility make feedback in the, my field, and also I can send him back a file. You see here, yes. Now I can have as a teacher possibility send him file back. Again, I put grades and save and return. And assignment is prepared for you. I will ask you to go inside. You see all information, click on button, edit submission, <laughs> yeah, uh, you add your file, the classical way, oh, Eva will send me penguins, so, save changes, and this is done. And you can insert also comments and wait you wait for teacher to say something on your assignment. So now, now I will go as a teacher in this fourth assignment insight. I see again three person send me something. You grade and submission. Ah, Yelena sent me something. Now I will be my, my uh, better one. So there is no grading because we don't didn't finish yet. So I just got go to check this assignment. I open it and check it what he sent. Better not. I will close it. Okay. <laughs> but uh, to make a comment and to send it back, I have to go inside. Here I have information. I can look what he sent me here. I can read her comment. I will go put no grades. I can put feedback. Okay, my feedback is that. And you see, I have now possibility to send feedback files. So I could go add, uh, go for something to send you. Uh, this computer is not mine, so I will send you picture. I'm sorry, you get a bell and upload. Upload. So I, as a teacher, I see what students send me, what he write. I put what my feedback, and I see what I send him back. So I save changes. Now I make a refresh. So and go to Elena. I will just. Uh, Move it here. Mm -hmm. Here, and you see this is a file I sent to her. I hope she received it. <laughs> I will do same for Eva. Okay, I will send. I will do the same way to Eva. Eva, because she's sitting near me. So I go here and attach file to her. So, save changes. OK. I will ask Eva to check it out for it. If she, she received my file. Yeah, she received my file. So, And this uh, process can go on and on till your teacher and students are satisfied or date is going to uh, end. 
uh, the uh, date of submission. So you see these, these are four kinds of assignments, but there are many more possibility. So we, I will ask you if you try to prepare any kind of assignment and insert it in the Moodle. I will give you subject and I will go inside this assignment. If you have any questions, you just write inside this assignment and I will prepare answer for you and advices. advices. So we do it now, the assignment. Now I will go to next one and that is quiz. So assignment is no more important. Let's go to quiz. Um, quiz has many benefits and let's see it first. Uh, they say quiz is the most complex tool in Moodle because not that it's so hard to understand and to work, but he gives uh, users so many possibilities that you, I think you need one year to learn everything. But for first start, it's, uh, you just pick up what you need and you can do it. You will see it. Uh, this kind of most mood, uh, quiz in Moodle allows you uh, 11 different types of questions. When you prepare questions, it goes into the bank of questions. Your questions are in the bank of questions. This bank can be exported. You can import from outside questions. When you perform quiz, you can make uh, also statistic analysis, which can help you to find out which questions are hard, which are too easy, which are perhaps not clear defined, and of course, Everything is archived. You have everything inside the Moodle. Let's uh, do it. Uh, we prepare quiz in three steps. First, we have to prepare question. Question, we make it inside question bank. I click on question bank. And here I see that I have questions, categories, import, export. If you are first time in these subjects, when you open question bank, here is emptiness, a lot of work to do. Uh, but when you start to insert question, you like to make some organization uh, where to put the from question from different topic. And Moodle gives you opportunity to make categories. At the beginning, system make a category default for workshop Moodle the name of the uh, scores, but then you can make your own categories. I have some uh, category where I put all my old question for Moodle 1.9 and I prepare already six examples for these workshops. So you make category, category in such a way. You look out which is over you, uh, about you. This one is in this example. Then you t t type name and description and add. You see here is this new topic. If I need want to have some topic which is behind this one, I said I this one be, will be above. The next one will be so topic subtopic. Okay description and edit and you have it inside. And you can, of course, you see all these icons, you can change it later if you need something different. For preparing new question, you have to go in this link, questions. To create question, you click on the button, create a new question, and you have here what Moodle offer you. If I decide for question multiple choice, system gives me short description where you saw because you are student, Jelena. You don't have question bank. It will be really nice if students have your question bank and can read everything and change uh, grading. Uh, just a teacher have a question bank. But I will prepare your subject as a teacher and then you will have it. So uh, when you select a multiple choice, the system uh, writes you that you have two possibility. One is when so, just one answer is um, <laughs> uh, 
allows that, that you uh, prepare a question with just one right answer or one is example when more answers are correct. This selection you do it inside the question. When you select the question and go next, um, then you are in the site where you make questions. But I will go now again to my question bank and pick up the question I already prepared so that uh, it will be uh, will go smoother and easier. So I go in my examples. First is the quiz question. I select it and I say go to upper part. Move it. Aha. Uh -huh. So this is the question I already prepared. So I create new question here. I show you. And next. But I will start from this point. So I go in my already prepared in edit. You see it's the same same site as before if you do it new. First is question name, then is question for you you put it to your students, then you insert mark how how what will the student get it answer correctly. Then it's feedback. Uh, preparing good questions is really, really hard to work and usually takes uh, time to make question bank with good questions. One year, two years, three years perhaps. <laughs> Here is decision what kind of what type of uh, question I will prepare. I will select here just one answer is correct. I will allow shuffles between choices. I will not use any numbering. And then I start to insert my uh, possible answers. First choice I set insert, we need to create them each time we make a new quiz. This will be terrible. This is not true. That's why I put grade none. And insert my feedback. Wide eyes. The second choice I insert question are located in question bank. This is true. That's why I put 100% grade. 100% means what I've said, 10 points. Then I go in choice 3. Here I say uh, that questions are in teacher private folder because in Moodle 2 we have a teacher private folder. Of course, it's time of answering, yes. I will show it when I create a quiz and put settings. In teacher private folder, uh, as a part of course, teacher can have private folder, folder, but this is not for the question. So I put grade is none. This answer is not correct. Uh, there are many kind of feedbacks and hints. I will go to the end and save change. When I make a question, I can again check it how it works with click on preview. This upper part sees students when he starts a quiz. This lower part is for us, a teacher, to see what is set, how it's set, and how it works. Let's see, uh, I will check if I click here and submit. System sends me yes, and my comments, and general comments, and that I get 10 points for this correct answer. This is the way you can test each question how it behaves. Perhaps you find out that something you need to change. If you need to change, you just simply go here in this edit. Uh, click on edit icon. Now I go to show you one more question. This will be question um, here in my examples. Uh, learning activities where you can select more right answer. So I will move it to my working place. Move it. This is the one. This one is, uh, mm, you, you pick it up here, multiple check question, and then this decision is inside. So I go inside, inside this already prepared question. Here is title. And here is question for student. Moodle has many learning activities, and I will give you a list 
and you have to select which are really learning activities. I give you 50 <laughs> points, this is really a lot. And I here you see, here I say there are multiple answers allowed. I again uh, put that answers can be shuffled, no answer, no uh, numbering. And here are my first answer. As a teacher, I insert that forum is learning activity. This is true, so I put here positive number, but I have decided how much from these 50 points I will give to this answer. I decided 20%, so this is 10 points. The second choice uh, I put to student sources. Of course, sources are not activities, so I will put here minus. If she pick up this answer, I go with a number of points down. Then I insert calendar. No, calendar are not activities. Glossary, yes. Assignment, yes. Wiki, yes. So there are many choices, many feedbacks in case of correct, in case of partly, and so on. And now I will go just to down. And now I will check this question, if I do it well. So, I will do something what can students do. Let's, they say everything is OK. Click it, click it, click it. And I send it. You see that this, I put this question wrong. Because when students click it all, they still get uh, great, even they know anything. That means that perhaps I have to put more wrong answers, or I think that it will be better. The best way that I make the number of wrong and number of the right question the same, or give it to the wrong answer more punishing point points. So you see, yeah, I can check it if I do it OK, and I can then change it. I go to next, the third question. Um, so I will go in my examples here, pick up a say, and bring it up. Okay. If I want to prepare a question type a say, I go and create a question, click it, and you see it. Here is a remark. This is the only uh, type of question where you were, which need to be graded manually. No autom automatic grading. So I prepare now a say. We have here the title. And there, here I ask you, what is good and what is bad side of question type a say? Good side is um, certainly that the students have to write it with own words. So no clicking, no guessing. He has to uh, write what he think, what he know, how he understand. Um, what is bad side? Certainly is bad side that teacher have to go and read it and to, to grade it. But uh, I think you, a teacher, are used to do it. So this is uh, the description. Uh, if I give students to make it uh, nice is with HTML editor, or I give him just plain text. If you are working with uh, some a teacher use this uh, essay uh, in subject where they need to program. So they uh, students insert into the field programming code. And this kind of uh, using is much better if you do plain text because uh, uh, this editor is uh, very touchy to use this sign. This is sign for him to go into the but for programming languages, we use it for comparison. So, if you will do it, if you are teaching programming languages, then just put it plain text. I give it 15 lines. I, you can allow teach the students to attach something. I will do, say it no, and save changes. So, this is my essay. I will check it out, how it looks. So this is question, and here is student insert answer and submit. So it is way. But there is no grade, because I, as a teacher, need to go to read it and insert mark. 
I prepared just three very, very simple uh, questions. And now I will go further. What is the next step? Let's go in subject. Next step is that I have to create a quiz and configure its parameters. These questions are simply in, in the question bank and they are waiting to be used. You can use it in any quiz, how many times you want. This is just bank of questions. Uh, to prepare quiz for my students, I first to go to activity. So I go to activity and pick up quiz. And first site is open. Here is quiz. But I go again back and go to my already prepared example. I click it on update so I, that I want to ch change something. So in quiz you have first title. In this second field, this is the field students see before they start to quiz. Uh, here gives them information, instruction, what they, how they implement this quiz that something will not go wrong or what they can bring with them, what, they, what is allowed, what not, and so on. This is text which students see when start to uh, go to implement quiz. Open, we have again open and close date. I will open it. I will just say that it was open before at 10 o'clock. OK, let's see. And I will close this quiz at 11 o'clock. Okay, let's say 11, 0. Uh, this is opening, but uh, already Alexander asked me, is there some time limit? Yes. Here I click on Enable, and I will give you for this quiz just five minutes. I'm very fast. You have to be fast. And all your answers will go automatically to the system. So know this one. Then we can uh, talk, uh, discuss about this time limit later. Uh, you will, you can send me an insight of the assignment, and I will explain if this is not the way you want to know. So I can say to the students um, if there is five uh, that they have to need it uh, to finish in five minutes. I can give some grace periods. Um, I will allow you to go many times. If there are quizzes for the grades, then it's um, uh, then you can uh, uh, allow one temps for for grade, which co goes for the into the grade. You will use it as a as a end note. You can allow just to go once inside the quiz. If quiz is uh, mentioned to do it as a self-assessment, then you say it, say it it's unlimited. If there is unlimited, then I pick perhaps the highest grade. I will let the grades be as uh, they are in edit screen. I will put it together. I can put each question in separate page. Then I can uh, give possibility, if there is a separate page, I give students possibility to go to the first, then do it the third, then last, and the second. I will let it to be sequential. Uh, I will shuffle. I will ask you to answer and send it back. Let's, I will ch just be like grading here. Um, I will not use this advanced um, and interactive way of uh, grading. There are different kinds which are used mostly for uh, self evaluation students. They have to learn. Um, if I am using for, for to get a grade, then usually I set one, uh, one possibility and just this mode, deferred feedback. Then we, there are review options. This is the where a time when he is inside student. This is for two, three minutes after he finished. I will allow, uh, give you possibility to give, see everything. This is the, for the time before quiz closed it. I will give you everything. And this is after quiz is closed. After quiz is closed, you can decide uh, and show students just a mark. Or you show attempts and um, 
what he was doing or how much marks he or he, what was the right answer. This is your decision. What you uh, allow students to see after quiz is closed. Let's go here down. Here's the interesting parts. If you are uh, implementing quiz for the grade, uh, usually our teacher uh, go with the students in the classroom, computer classroom at school, and they um, insert password, let's say, and, um, and they told students this password when they are inside. inside. And additionally, they insert network addresses of the computer inside computer room. This uh, information can give you person who works in, info, in, uh, in computer room. So these are something like that. I will just write some imaginary example. OK. Point. So these are addresses of computers. So uh, this quiz can do only on these uh, network addresses. So inside the computer and they have to know a password. And we also can put it into the browser, secure browser, so students uh, uh, cannot go out of the quiz and to surf around. This is optimistic approach, but students always manage to go come out in some way. So now it's feedback. If students uh, get results from 90 to 100 percent, this is why my decision, I will write him splendid. If he have a result between 75 to 90, I put very good and so on. This is just information for him. I will use no groups and save and return. This is empty quiz. This is just a box I prepare. Uh, to insert questions. So now I go to the third step. I will insert questions inside. You see button I have as the teacher edit quiz. I click it on it. Then I this bank is very poor. When you will be working long time, there will be many questions. You have to check it over the different categories. But I will say I will use all three. So I first third second, third, and I will add them to the quiz. So questions are in the bank, and I pick up the question which I want to have it for the quiz. So when your, your bank is very rich, a lot of questions, making a quiz is really simple. These are uh, quiz uh, questions. You have information that total marks will be 70 points. There are three, quiz, uh, three questions, and one is open and closed. If I'm satisfied with this, I will save it. OK. And now I will ask you to do it, to go to this quiz and um, perform it. I will look to the right side. Uh, but you cannot limit exact question. No, uh, OK, uh, Eva, show me. Uh, I can put time limits for whole quiz. I didn't see option to uh, have limit time for one question. Uh, this is perhaps Perhaps it's possible. When, when a user asks me something, I never said, no, this is not possible. Because a quiz is so complex uh, a tool that I prefer first go to the official site of the Moodle, go into the forum, and then check out. And then send question, answer on this question later. So I will check out if it's possible to put time limit for separate question, if I understand right. Yeah? So I will ask you to go to the uh, quiz. I will look out here, example quiz. Um, not on the following list. You cannot do it. OK. I will check it out.
I put everything down. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, Eva, show me. I forgot that I put uh, this re require password and address. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Let's try again. You can do it now. Attempt quiz now. OK, thank you. That's very good. Yeah, you start to attempt. The first is a say. You can write anything you like and say. I'll give you more times to think about. And I will check out. I'm waiting for Eva. He's the first one usually. OK. When you send it, submit all and finished, then you cannot, cannot change uh, your answers. Let's go. I will check out. I saw that six person try quiz. Let me see. Um, I can see uh, the whole site. Um, here so. If you are interested just of the end result, then you say here no. Then you see just end points. If I want to see everything, then I say yes. Everything means that I can go through each question students answer me. The question one has no grades because this is a say. So I have to click it on a say. Read what students sent me. And insert mark. So I can read, I can insert. Uh, that, uh, insert uh, comment and I put her mark. I, I give today just good marks. And save it. OK. At the moment, I don't see here because I have to refresh. Yeah. OK, you see, I give a grade to Eva. I see from my students uh, that he finished, when he start, when he end, how many times he used it, what was the grade, and I can go into separate grades to check it out. If students is not satisfied with the grading, you can sit down at the computer and go inside the, his answer and show him what he do and how was the grading ma made. You see everything here inside. Um, so let's go here. We can have statistical report. We are going close to the end of our session. So when students finished with quiz, you can go into the statistic reports. Statistic reports shows you about each question how many attempts was, what was possibility to random guess, um, how I think that this question can bring to the end note how much, how did it really. Um, I see this, uh, I, if, when you, if you do everybody this quiz to the end, then I can also see uh, what was the successful rate for different question. Then I can see. Um, uh, how was um, how good students uh, solve this question in comparison to the bad students? Uh, so I can see if my if if question is better answered from bad students than from good students, then we have to think about it. So you have here statistical shows. I just let it see. Okay, and you can see. Um, what was uh, answers for this question, how many students answered it correctly. And this green one, which is very low, 
it's uh, this information if my questions are the way that uh, good students answer better than this question than the bad students. This statistical picture is not good because uh, I really need to have a practical example of all possible answer of the real students. And I can also, uh, all this information I can do download to me and I can then check it with other people if I want. This is statistical uh, uh, results. Approach. So, mm -hmm. let's go inside the grading. I have fallout. So, what should I share so show you? Show you in this case of tools. Uh -huh. Bank of question I show you and that's statistical approach. Okay. Uh, when you have a lot of questions of these banks, you can uh, export it out. Or if somebody from your colleagues uh, teach the, the, same, the, the same subject, you can import question, his question inside of your model. So end is now. Uh, what I like to do you, I like you to do one simple quiz. Just simple quiz, it can be just with one question. But if you have some uh, more, you're more ambitious, you want to do more, it, you can start uh, try to do it. If something goes wrong, you will send me and I will uh, give you a solution to next workshop. And I will present all other teacher too. Uh, how you can do it, different kinds of quizzes. So, I will go now back to... Um, I fall out. Um, I have to apply back. So, so I hope you are a camera. Um, can you put it me as a presenter? Because I fall out. Make present. Uh -huh, I'm presenter. Um, so I will have camera. If I say something like I will not say something. <laughs> what I have? Uh, I have I have been some other? I don't see it. Ah yeah. It will be better now. <laughs> I have two windows open. So I come to the end of this uh, webinar. I hope it was not um, too hard for you. Uh, I can open the subjects uh, or uh, I will put down the limitation. Uh, you can try again as a student, but I will open when after this session I will go in the Moodle. I will go do it new subject. I put you all as a teacher inside and you can do it. And I will check out if you have any question you can quest, you can ask me inside the Moodle in fate of your assignment. I will, all the, all the time, I will be with you inside uh, this subject. I can help you. So, I think Anita, if she's here, I like thank you very much for 
you are with me, you work with me. On next uh, webinar, I will show you great book, how you can make great book, how you make different met methods of calculation, and then we will talk uh, about your examples, and I will give you advices or help how you can do it in Moodle in your cases. So, thank you very much. Thank you, Matka. This was uh, uh, this was very informative and, and very detailed. Thank you very much. I just want to remind everybody that our second session is on Tuesday, June 4th, at the same time, so 10 o'clock, same um, webinar room address. And meanwhile, Matka will send you the link to the trial course for us as teachers, right? Thank you, Metka, one more time. Yes, thank you. Metka, can I ask uh, uh, for a favor? Yes. <laughs>